Hello little zookeepers, my name's Zoe and I'm a zookeeper. Hardbarks and zebras, penguins and pigs, buffalo, beetles and geese. Come and join in with the animal crew at Zoe the Zookeeper Zoo. Hippos that splash, tigers that roar, Zoe's got something for you. So let's gather round and get set to explore at Zoe the Zookeeper Zoo. Do you know what today is? Today is Mother's Day when we say thank you to our mums for all that they do. And Naomi is going to talk to us about that now. Good morning, Tots. It's lovely to see you again. Today we are going to be thanking God for our mums. And to help me, I've got my Etty with me. Can we say hello, Etty? Hi. <laughs> now, my Etty is a big girl now. But here is a photo from when she was a little girl. Can you see? Isn't she cute? <laughs> this is a picture of Etty when she was a little girl, and me, her mum, and this is my mum, and next to her is her mum. So that's Etty, Etty's mummy, Etty's nana, and Etty's great nana. Three mums in one photo. <laughs> and we are going to talk about some of the things that our mums do for us. So, Etty's going to help me. What have you got for me, Etty? A car. A car. My Jossie loves playing with cars. Maybe your mum plays with you. Maybe cars. Maybe doing some crafts. Maybe doing some baking. Maybe playing in the water when it's sunny. I bet your mum plays with you. And that's a lovely thing for our mums to do with us. What next, Etty? The plaster. <gasps> when you fall over and you hurt your knee, does your mum put a plaster on it to make it better? Yeah, that's what we do in our house, isn't it, Etty? That's a lovely thing for your mum to do. What next? Jumper. A jumper. This is one of Jossie's favourite jumpers, but it got too small for him. Well, he got too big for the jumper. What does your mum do when you grow out of your clothes or your shoes? I bet she gets you new ones, doesn't she? So, that is a lovely thing for your mum to do, to be looking after you, making sure you have the things you need, like new shoes when your feet grow too big. What's next, Etty? Bible. The Bible. I bet your mum reads you stories from the Bible and tells you these true stories about Jesus that we read in there. Your mum is teaching you about Jesus and that is such a fab thing. What else have we got? A book. Elma. Etty used to love Elma when she was little. <laughs> and I bet your mum reads books to you. Does she? It's lovely, isn't it, to read a book with your mum? What a lovely thing for mums to do. Teddy bear. A teddy bear. I bet your mum snuggles you up at bedtime with a teddy bear, doesn't she? And maybe she sings you a song or reads you a book and gives you kisses goodnight. A lot of lovely things that your mum does for you. And do you know what? We can say thank you to God for our mums and for all the things they do. And it might be that there are other people who do lots of those lovely things for you in your life as well. And we can say thank you to God for them as well. Shall we pray now? Let's close our eyes and put our hands together. Dear God, thank you for our mums. Thank you that they do lots of things for us. Thank you that they play with us and they read to us. Thank you so much that they get us the things that we need, like new shoes and new clothes. Thank you that they tell us about the true stories of Jesus that we read in the Bible. And thank you that they love us so much. Amen. Amen. Now, my Etty made me these beautiful flowers yesterday. Isn't she clever? And I'm going to show you something that you can make for your mum. Your grown-up will be able to print off this top piece of paper that has printed on it, thank you mum for teaching me, and thank you God for mothers. 
and it's got some beautiful flowers. So your grown-up could print those off for you and you can colour them in. And you just need to wrap it around a tin. We had baked beans for lunch yesterday, didn't we? So this is a baked bean tin that I washed out. And um, grown-ups, you might want to put some tape around the inside of the tin just to stop little one's fingers from getting caught on the sharp edge. And then I have made some flowers. All I've done is cut out some flower shapes and stuck them together with buttons on top. And then I've glued them to a straw at the back. You might like to make those as a present for your mum. And then you can put them in your flower pot, put them on the table, and they'll look really beautiful. And they'll remind you of all of the lovely things that your mum does for you. So we can say, thank you, God, for our mums. Well, it's been lovely to see you again, Tots. Etty and I have enjoyed making this video for you, even though Etty really wanted to be playing Mario with Nate and Jossie right now. <laughs> it was lovely to see you and I hope I get to see you again soon. Bye! Bye! Thanks so much Naomi. We say thank you to God for our mums because they love us, they care for us and they teach us about Jesus. Why don't we sing a song saying thank you to God for all that he's made and for making us? lots of fun I hope you had fun dancing why don't you make your craft now and you could give it to your mum as a Mother's Day present see you soon bye